So you can see the hole where they're coming in and out. I'm going to stick this stick in here and see if, how deep it is. Oh, it goes pretty deep. Wow, I can feel wax. Let's see, that's when I pull the stick out. I went in the length of that stick, which is about two and a half feet. And I can smell bee stuff, bee wax on the end of it. So um, at least we have a nice straight shot down into the hive. All right, I had to put my veil on because these bees were getting a little rambunctious, got stung a few times. They didn't like me invading their hive. I've got my smoker going, I'm gonna smoke them. Smoking does a couple of things. First, it tends to calm them down and mask any smells. It also tends to push them deeper into the hive to gorge on honey. And that's something we want them to do because if they're going to escape, <coughs> if they're going to escape this hive, uh, we want them to have full stomachs so that they can build comb. And the smoke makes them think there's a fire so they go into the hive to gorge on honey. We're giving them good some, a few good puffs here and let them start gorging. In a situation like this, I know some will say, Jeff, you're really overdoing it with the smoke, but in a situation like this, I don't think you can overdo it. So here are our tools. We have a long, narrow stick that we know can reach deep into the hive. We have a product called Honey Robber, which is bitric acid. Um, the uh, warnings on this are quite specific and ominous. Do not get knives on skin or clothing, avoid breathing. Um, it came with a rather detailed hazardous substance um, uh, pamphlet, so I guess it's Pretty, pretty tough stuff. I have a plastic bag here with a paper towel on the bottom which is going to act as, the paper towel is going to act as a fume pad. And the reason why I've put it in the plastic bag is I want to get the, the um, fume pad down deep into the hive um, so that we don't create a lot of, um, of the honey rubber smell at the entrance. We want them to actually look at the entrance as, an, as a great escape. That was some information or some suggestion thanks to some folks who responded to the blog um, when we first look at this hive. And finally, I have a uh, cardboard nuke box that I'm going to put at the top of the ladder just outside the hive entrance. It's a long shot, but there is a possibility that they could uh, look at this box as a potential new hive. I've put some uh, uh, essence of lemon, uh, lemongrass oil in there, as well as some honey, and there is some, uh, some natural beeswax comb. So there's plenty of good smells in there to attract them. And it would be great, it would be a, a home run if, as they swarmed out of the hive, uh, if they swarmed out of the hive, that they ended up uh, in this box. The fume pads are now deep in the hive, so now we just wait and see if they're successful in getting and having the bees evacuate. Okay, it's about um, 20 minutes since we put the, uh, um, the honey rubber in, and there's lots of activity at the front of the hive. And if you look up, I'm not sure if the camera can capture it, but a lot of bees that just are flying off, um, they seem to be ignoring the hive or the um, swarm trap, unfortunately. Um, but the honey robber does seem to be uh, taking effect, um, although I'm not seeing uh, them swarming in any capacity. They seem to be flying off as individuals, not as um, uh, not not uh, coalescing on anything or any branch. They seem to be flying in lots of different directions. Okay, we're here the following morning to check on the bees. There wasn't any activity uh, as it relates to flying 
around the hive, but if you look inside, you can still see some bee activity. And I can smell the honey robber, so it's in there. I guess these bees have just been a little bit more immune to it. I'm not sure if we've seen success. Our swarm trap did not uh, capture any bees, which is disappointing. And I'm not seeing any swarms hanging from any nearby trees right now. I'm going to give these guys one last blast of the um, acid, pardon me, the um, honey robber, and see what happens.